Hi there, we're here in our Burbank office, and it looks like by answering one of your questions, I've actually created a few more questions out on Facebook. So I wanted to get back to you guys and talk to you a little bit more about conjugated linoleic acid, or CLA. Um, in our office, we use CLA, especially in individuals that um, really have a very stuck metabolism. Individuals that aren't realizing or recognizing as much weight loss as they'd like to see. And also individuals that, um, a lot of individuals that are maybe postmenopausal that have some sort of um, hormone imbalances that have caused their metabolism to be very stuck or quite resistant. Again, in our office, I'm not a lone ranger. Um, I solicit the help and, and support of a lot of the different doctors here in my office. Um, and so we run in-house labs. We look at a lot of different things that are going on in the body. I'm a big advocate for looking at the chemistry in the body. And as you guys know, using food as medicine. I also am a huge advocate of supplementation. It's something that's um, been very important in my life in maintaining my own health. It's been very important for my children. And it's created um, therapeutically quite a change in a lot of my clients that have a lot of very significant health issues. And conjugated linoleic acid, or CLA, is something that we do carry in our office. In my office, I use a variety of different brands. Um, I, I do have a line that's specific for the fast metabolism diet or to enhance or help the metabolism. We carry all different kinds of companies. I'm very diligent, though, that it has to be something that's clean. In, on our line, we have a, a conjugated linoleic acid called uh, metabolism, either, it depends on which label you get, they're the same thing, metabolism fat blaster or um, metabolism belly fat or belly fat metabolism. And what it is, is it's a very pure conjugated linoleic acid. CLA, by nature, can be very dirty because it's a fat or a lipid. You have to really watch the source that it doesn't have metal content, um, chemicals and pesticide content. And also, about 80% of the CLA is manufactured in the United States is used soy or soybean oil. So for me, if I'm gonna put my name on something, it has to be, you know, of course, as you can imagine, corn-free, soy-free, wheat-free, dairy-free. Um, also, we send out for independent assays for met met uh, metals, chemicals, and pesticides. Um, so that's why I'm willing to use a product or, or support one particular product because I believe in the company or I believe in the manufacturer. If you're out shopping for one and you don't use one of ours, totally fine with that, but I'm going to beg you to make sure that you use a company that for sure is soy free. Again, about 80% of the CLAs you find have a tendency to be soybean derived. The other thing is the typical recommended dose based on the studies is about uh, one and a half, excuse me, three to five grams a day split in two doses. So you take about one and a half grams twice a day to two and a half grams twice a day, depending on kind of your body's need. I had this old naturopath that used to always tell us with conjugated linoleic acid that if you had too much, it would make you nauseous or have diarrhea. The nausea would come because this is a lipid and the gallbladder would create more bile or bile salts, too much as a matter of fact, if you had too much CLA. And the diarrhea or the loose stool was because the body was trying to rapidly um, process or break down the lipids and the GI tract, especially the lower GI tract, is so important in the fat. That's why you see a lot of individuals that have um, lipid issues like high cholesterol have a tendency towards constipation. They're not breaking down their lipids really efficient. Um, so conjugated linoleic acid, again, uh, you know, a lot of my clients supplement with it, with it. It helps to be a catalyst. It goes in, it's taken up into the fat cell, and it helps to liquefy um, that really stubborn to break down fat. But the things to think about are the concerns with conjugated linoleic acid is that it liquefies that fat and it brings it into the bloodstream. If you kind of started researching CLA a little bit, you might notice that there's some studies or there were some concerns about it potentially uh, being um, not positive for diabetics. A lot of um, universities, uh, let's see, I, I wrote down like Purdue, Penn State, Ohio University, Ohio State University did some great studies on its actual ability to affect insulin's um, efficacy or the body's ability to use insulin therefore lowering significantly the risk for type 2 diabetes. Then came some, kind of in the history of this, then came some studies that were concerned about that rapid release of fats or lipids into the bloodstream, one potentially elevating a protein called C-reactive protein, and the other, um, the elevation of insulin resistance because there's kind of too much lipids for the bodies to be able to metabolize. NYU kind of stepped in on this fairly recently and did some pretty extensive studies um, showing that now with newer, newer tests, newer ways to um, detect insulin sensitivity, that it actually shows that CLA can be very beneficial for this. But again, like I said, I'm not a lone ranger in this. It's your body, and I really encourage you to take to, uh, use your doctor, your physician, to partner with 
to check your lipid levels and check your insulin levels and your blood sugar levels. So if you're using CLA, you start noticing some amazing weight loss, you might want to just check in and, and uh, make sure that your blood sugar levels are staying stable and also that your cholesterol le levels are staying stable. Have I ever seen this create some imbalance? Um, just in case you guys are going to ask me this, clinically I have when individuals use CLA in a very poor diet. So supplementing alone, not using healthy nutrition, not saying food is medicine, can actually kind of wreak havoc because we're using this supplement to create a catalyst to release fat into the bloodstream. And like we talked about how important it is to do the phase one, phase two, phase three in a row, once you release that fat into the bloodstream, you actually have to emulsify it, convert it to energy, and excrete it out of the body. So if you're eating um, you know, really nutrient-devoid foods, if you're eating a lot of additives, preservatives, things that affect the liver or harm the liver, if you're doing a lot of caffeine, and suddenly you take this supplement that releases all these fats into the bloodstream, you can create or wreak some havoc. So I'm not, um, it, supplements are what they call, what I call supplements. They're to be supplemented with a healthy um, diet, preferably the fast metabolism diet because you're uh, burning all those fats efficiently. But they're also things, they're, they're effective. If they weren't effective, we wouldn't use them. And so you want to make sure that it's right for your body chemistry and partner with your doctor to check on that. Um, so the thing you want to check is your C-reactive proteins, your total lipids, which means cholesterol, LDLs, the low-down dirty lipoproteins, HDLs, the handy-dandy lipoproteins, that's how I always memorized that in college, your triglycerides, um, your fasting blood sugar, your fasting insulin, and what's called your hemoglobin A1C, which kind of gives us a nice 90-day average or 90-day snapshot of what your blood sugar is doing. Things that CLA can benefit is, yes, it's amazing for um, burning fat, especially when, when we have those real heavy-to-release fats. But studies have also shown that CLA can um, reduce the incidence of tumor-based cancers. Um, I wrote myself some little notes. It's, it really can help reduce soft plaque cardiovascularly. Um, it's great for brain, memory, cognition. And that just goes back to what I'm always telling you guys. The metabolism affects every aspect of the body. CLA is designed to be a catalyst to help your body release fat into the bloodstream. But it's those powerful foods and those micronutrients that then take that fat, catabolize them, break them down, and help you create a healthy life.